All right, so let's get into the box here and see what we have. So this again is a Title 55, one of Seacam's hang on the backs. There's our little instruction manual there. I believe it comes in a 35, a 55, a 75, and then the 110 size. Uh, this filter is extremely, you know, adaptable for the user. So we're gonna take it out of the box here. And I'm opening upside down because why not? All right, moving on, let's get this thing looked at here for you guys. So again, it is a hang on back. There is an intake that goes, you know, on the bottom. We'll get that all hooked up here. But that's what it looks like from the front. Get the lid off here. Cool thing about this is that little blue thing pops up when the filter needs to be serviced. So if you see it sticking up, that means that your filter is clogged and you need to clean it. This has the intake tube in it here. Showing you guys here, it also has the adjustable little thing in there to level it out in the back of your hang on back. So it's perfectly level hanging off the back of your tank. So here is what we got here. We got two tubes here. They fit in each other and then you can extend them out. And then what else we got in the box here? We have the little clamp. So this goes on the bottom of the filter and you screw it to tighten it to change the distance it is from the back of your tank. This thing also has a skimmer on the front. You can see it there just below where the water comes out of it. This is the Biomedia bag that they give you. So instead of having, you know, just a bunch of sponges or cartridges, they actually give you these little, little bio balls that you stick in the back. And it already comes in a little burlap bag with a little zipper. So when you want to replace them, you can just take it off. As you can see, they are dusty. So I would just, you know, rinse these before you put them in. I'm closing my eyes as if I'm getting the dust in it right now when this happened forever ago. All right, what else? Oof, I just got the whole thing dusty. Okay, now this is the cool part. So this little latch right here, this little blue latch, is a lock. When it's unlocked, you can pull the whole basket out. This is where you're gonna put all your biomedia and your sponges and whatnot. They come with a sponge in the bottom, which is the initial part of your filtration. So that's gonna catch a lot of the stuff as it comes up. So that's gonna catch your finer particles. Here it is, it's cut. You can get replacements for these, or you could just probably cut a regular sponge to fit, and you don't problem. But that's the whole inside of the basket there. Plenty of room for several sponges as well as your bio bag. Um, I personally ran, you know, sponge, two sponges and the bio bag. Uh, I put sponge, sponge, bio bag, sponge when I had my first one. So it's like a little, nice little sandwich there, lots of filtration layers. There's the inside of your seek gear title for you. This is the first adjustment level for the flow. So this cool thing has two adjustments. So you have a top adjustment and a bottom adjustment right there. The bottom adjustment on the bottom of that right there is going to let you change the flow on the very bottom of it, where it initially takes the water in, as well as the top. So you have two levels of control over how much water is going to pour out of it. And as you can see there, you can see the little door closing. And the other cool thing is it's an internal filter. So that little piece right there is internal along just below the skimmer so if the water you know you're out of power and it shuts off you can just not worry about it and when the power kicks back in it's going to instantly kick back in and start pulling that water in which is a cool thing about it because a lot of hanging backs when the power goes out you're kind of sol and sometimes the pump will burn itself out if it can't suck the water up all the way so as you see i attached my tubes there i'm going to stick it right on the little hole it's just a tight fit there's no any special special it's just a little friction fit and there you go, you can see it fully extended here. And it's as simple as pushing it in or pulling it out when you need to adjust the height. So I usually try and have it as low as I can just so it sucks up more of the stuff toward the bottom of my tank. Now again, there is a skimmer on the front, so it's not only pulling from the bottom, it's also pulling from just below where your intake is. The other thing I like about the title is that the cord actually feeds up through that little chamber on the side so that it's not just hanging it actually sits nicely and adds an extra layer of you know firmness against your tank so this little piece here that i'm about to show you is your adjuster for you know just keeping it as tight to the side of your tank as you can it does go in a certain direction i just had a little trouble getting it in because i was you know not had the best light in my basement while i was doing this 
But this is, of course, where it goes. I'm gonna, you know, pick it up real quick, and I'll show you guys in a second where we go. Alright, so as you can see, that is where it goes. I'm just showing you guys here what it looks like. So you tighten this up, and it's got a little rubber piece on there. So you're gonna put this against your tank, and then you can change how far it sticks out just so your hang on the back's not crooked. It keeps it nice and secure against the side of your glass, or a plexiglass, if you're using that instead. And here you can still adjust it either direction while it is in as well. Just another feature that makes this an awesome little hang on back. All right, and here I'm gonna show off, you know, the little, the bag. So I'm just gonna use my BioMedia that they gave me the little rocks there. So I've locked it and now you cannot pull it out. And once you unlock it, it will come out nice and easy. So overall, uh, the Tidal Seachem filters are just uh, like the top echelon of, you know, hang on backs. They're, I'm going to use a car analogy, and I know nothing about cars, but I'm going to say they're like, they're like a Ferrari. Like if your typical, you know, Aqua Clear or your hang on back for PetSmart is like a Subaru, you know, it's the, the normal car. This is like a sports car version of a hang on back. So these are reasonably priced. They're not going to run you too much money. They're actually decently priced. I would have thought they would have been more. So they go anywhere in price from $41 for the 35 version to about like 88, 90 bucks for the 110 version. That's, you know, with shipping and tax, of course, the base price is like 82 bucks. So yeah, overall, this is a middle of the road. It's the 55, it's their middle version. I'm using it on a 40 gallon community tank. I was using it on a 30 gallon African cichlid tank. And they're just super easy to use. There's no crazy stuff involved. You can adapt the media however you want in the basket, and it works perfectly fine. If I had to be super nitpicky and pick negatives on this thing, it just requires you know slightly more maintenance than your typical hang on the back. Your basic hang on back. Like so, my normal hang on backs, I can let them sit for months and not touch them, and they're fine. Because this one has so much going on, and it's got the skimmer, it's got the intake. It will, you know, get gunked up depending on how dirty your fish are, and because I had it on an African cichlid tank, it would get gunked up more. So, it's some maintenance is super simple. You, you unlock your basket, you pull it out, clean all your media off like you would normally, and it's even easy to service the impeller. I'll do that in a separate video. This is just a generalized review kind of thing, but it's as simple as pulling that piece off that you saw where it's got the water line level. That pops off, and it's got the in internal impeller in it and I will just run water through that I'll take a cotton swab and just kind of clean the blades off if it gets too gunked up I've only had that happen once and the machine will tell you when it's getting you know clogged you know it's got that little pop-up that'll be like hey the flow is getting you know diverted because you need to clean your filter and it's because it's an internal you know pump you can unplug it take your basket out clean all your media put the basket in and plug it in and it's going to automatically start priming itself whereas other hang on backs you got to take your cup of water dump it in the back and so this is by far probably one of the best hang on backs you could get especially if you want one that if you're in a place that loses power a lot you don't have to worry about your pumps dying if you're out of town and you've lost power when the power comes back that pump is just going to kick in and automatically prime and start pulling the water in itself and you're not going to have any issues so this filter is a great filter to have hang on back wise I've been using hang on backs for two decades now and out of all of them this is probably the best one I've had I like that it's got two flow adjustments on it instead of just one some of mine don't even have a flow adjustment and the flow adjustment actually works on this if you open both knobs full bore it's gonna be blowing water around and getting a nice circulation going in your tank whereas some you adjust it, there's not much change in flow at all. So yeah, this is just an overall good hang on back for anyone, especially if you want a lot, you've got a dirty tank. This was able to handle a dozen African ticklets in a 30 gallon with no problem. It just required more maintenance on my part, which I don't care, I have the time. So if you just want an overall good aquarium hang on back filter, and you want something a little bit beefier than your typical run of the mill filter, I'm going to 100% recommend you try a Tidal Seachem filter. 
I would of course stay get them from KT Tropicals or KeepFishKeeping.com because like I said, that first one I ordered, got it off Amazon and I swear it was a used one that someone returned because none of the parts were the way they should be. The intake tube was already in the darn thing and it's not supposed to come that way. So I would say, you know, support a small business, get it from KeepFishKeeping.com. There's a link down in the description for you to click on. There'll also be a card up in that corner, which will take you straight to the title page on their website. And yeah, I would just 100% recommend this filter to anyone looking for a nice, super high-end, hang on back filter. As always, thank you guys so much for all the support on the videos. It means a lot. But if you're new here and it's your first time hanging out watching a video, maybe think about hitting that little sub button, dinging that bell, possibly leaving a like if you enjoyed the video. You want to see more reviews of stuff in the future. And as always, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've had titles, if you liked them, if you didn't like them. What didn't you like about them? What did you love about them? I love having conversations with people in the comments, and I do it on every video. I respond to everybody and have a conversation with. I definitely do read them all and respond to everybody. So until next time, I will see you guys later, and have a good one.